Minister Narendra Modi on Friday presented the first ever National Creators Award to recognize young talent at Bharat Mandapam in the national capital. Among those awarded were singer Maitili Thakur and got the Cultural Ambassador of the Year Award, Gaurav Chaudhary for the Best Creator in Tech Category Award, Kami Ajani for the Favorite Travel Creator Award and Kirtika Govinda Swami for the Best Storyteller Award. Addressing the gathering, PM Modi said, You are the people who have created a place for yourself and this is why you are at the Bharat Mandapam. This is the place where G20 was organized and discussions for creating the future of the world was done. Today, you all have gathered here to discuss how to create the future of India when the times change, when a new era begins. It, it becomes a new country's responsibility to adapt to the scene. Today at Bharat Mandapam, India is fulfilling their very responsibility, he said. और आप वो लोग हैं जिन्होंने अपनी जगह बनाई है और इसलिए आज उस जगह पे आप हैं भारत मंडपम और भारत सिंबल भी क्रिएटिविटी से जुड़ा हुआ है आते ही और यही जगह है जहां G20 से सभी मुखिया यहां इकट्ठे हुए थे और आगे की दुनिया कैसे क्रिएट करनी इसकी चर्चा कर रहे थे और आज आप लोग हैं जो भारत का भविष्य कैसे क्रिएट करना उसकी चर्चा करने के लिए आए हैं साथियों जब समय बदलता है टाइम चेंज होता है जब नए युग की शुरुआत होती है तो उसके साथ कदम से कदम मिलाना ये देश का दायित्व होता है आज भारत मंडपम में देश अपने उस दायित्व को पूरा कर रहा है पहले नेशनल क्रिएटेड अवार्ड्स यानी पहला है ये आयोजन नए दौर को समय से पहले पहचान देने का आयोजन है और कुछ लोग मुझे कभी कभी पूछते हैं कि आपकी सफलता का रहस्य क्या है ऐसा मुझे पूछते हैं मैं हरे को जवाब नहीं देता हूं कोई रेस्टोरेंट वाला अपना किचन दिखाता है क्या <laughs> लेकिन आपको मैं बता देता हूं ईश्वर कृपा है मैं समय से पहले समय को भाप सकता हूं और इसलिए ये पहला ऐसा अवार्ड है जो शायद आने वाले दिनों में बहुत प्रमुख स्थान लेने वाला है ये इस नए युग को एनर्जाइज कर रहे आप सब युवाओं को सम्मान देना क्रिएटिविटी को सम्मान देना और समाज की रोजमर्रा की जिंदगी के प्रति जो संवेदनशीलता है उसको सम्मान करने का अवसर है भविष्य में ये अवार्ड ओवर 1.5 लाख नॉमिनेशन वे रिसीव अक्रॉस ट्वेंटी कैटेगरीज एंड अबाउट 10 लाख वोट्स वे कास्टेड फॉर डिजिटल क्रिएटर्स इन वेरियस अवार्ड कैटेगरीज फाइनली ट्वेंटी विनर्स इंक्लूडिंग थ्री इंटरनेशनल क्रिएटर्स वे चोजन The awards covered a wide range of categories including best storyteller, disruptor, celebrity creator, green champion creator for social change, most impactful agri creator, cultural ambassador, best travel creator, swatch tie ambassador, new indian champion, tech creator, heritage fashion, most creative creator, male and female, best creator in the food category, best creator in education and international creator. The National Socialist Council of Nagaland, I am 
has expressed its opposition to the setting up of UNLF or MPA designated GAM in Naga territory in Manipur. The group is a press sta sta statement said that it has been following the development of peace agreement between the government of India and UNLF Pambai with much curiosity and interest while stating that it was the primary duty of NSCN to protect its people and geopolitical issue. On UNLF design designated camp, the group said that it was set without the consent or knowledge of the Naga public and stated that such reckless intrusion was highly condemnable and demanded for immediate shifting of the camp. The NSCN said when it signed ceasefire with the government of India, arrangements were done accordingly with regards to setting up of designated camps. However, in case of the agreement with UNLF, the issue was handled in a haphazard manner without considering the geopolitical sentiments and it asked if the government of India was trying to incite communal war between the Métis and the Nagas. We'll now take a short break. We'll be back with more news. मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम प्रभु श्री राम के बाल विग्रह की प्राण प्रतिष्ठा का साक्षी बना सप्तपुरियों में प्रथम श्री अयोध्या धाम राम लोक की स्मृतियों में पर्वत से लेकर परंपराओं में सर्वत्र समाये हुए चहु और राम नाम का जय घोष चौक चौराहे पर श्री राम का प्रतिबिंब आस्था की पुष्प वर्षा यत्र तत्र सर्वत्र हर्ष में मगन श्रद्धालुओं का जन सैलाब हर क्षेत्र के ओर ने निभा स्मृतियों में पर्वत से लेकर परंपराओं में सर्वत्र समाये हुए चहु और राम नाम का जय घोष चौक चौराहे पर श्री राम का प्रतिबिंब आस्था की पुष्प वर्षा यत्र तत्र सर्वत्र हर्ष में मगन श्रद्धालुओं का जन सैलाब हर क्षेत्र के लोकप्रिय और गणमान्य महानुभाव जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शीट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर Fourteen children who participated in the Shiv Bharat procession on the occasion of Mahashiv Ratri in Kota on Friday sustained burnt injuries after getting electrocuted. Said police adding two children are in critical condition with one suffering 100% burnt injury. Police say the children aged 7 to 15 years were electrocuted from a high tension power line passing overhead in the Sakatura area under the Kunhari police station. Two children have sustained 50 and 100% burnt injuries respectively, while the other 12 sustained less than 50% injuries, said Amrita Duhan, Superintendent of Police, SP, Kota City. All the injured have been admitted to MBS Hospital in Kota and according to the police, the incident took place on Friday between 11.30 a.m. to 12 noon when a Shiv Bharat procession was marching through Kalibasti, where one of the boys holding a flag atop a 22 feet high iron road, the flag high tension line passing overhead. The boy holding the flag sustained 100 percent burnt injuries, said police. Other boys who attempted to rescue him also sustained burnt injuries, the SP said, adding that one of them sustained 50 percent burnt injury while the other 12 sustained less than 50 percent. Meanwhile, Chief Nisa Bhajan Lal Sharma, while expressing grief, directed the district administration to provide immediate assistance and the best treatment to the children. The CM said that a probe will be conducted, keeping all aspects of the accident in mind. And Rajasthan Minister Hiralal Nagar informed that a special team has been formed to provide all possible treatment. He also said that officials are also directed to investigate if there are there has been any case of negligence. <laughs> जो 
हादसा हुआ है उसमें शामिल हैं और उम्मीद भी नहीं जाती कि शास्त्री बहुत ही उनको देख कर के ऐसा लगता है कि कोई पाँच छः साल से आठ साल दस साल बारह साल चौदह साल के बच्चे हैं तो एक एकदम कैसे उत्साह में वो जो जुलूस में थे कोई हो सकता है किसी के हाथ में लंबा पाइप झंडा रहा होगा जिसके टच होने से ये घटना हुई है और उसके जो चिनगैरें निकली जिससे ज़्यादातर बच्चे उसमें झुलसने में आने से ये गंभीर घायल हुए हैं दो बच्चे ज़्यादा घायल हैं एक शत प्रतिशत है और एक पचास परसेंट है प्रयास कर रहे हैं कि सबको हर मुमकिन सुविधाएं मिल जाए दवाई की कोई कमी नहीं रही दी जाए स्पेशल टीम बना करके और उनको देख करके और सुविधा दी जा रही है कोई कमी नहीं आने देंगे और भगवान से प्रार्थना कर सकते हैं कि सब बच्चे जल्दी ठीक हो जाए एक्शन की बात देखिए जो भी सबसे पहली प्राथमिकता तो ये है कि हम उनको हर मुमकिन इलाज मुहैया कराएं ताकि ये जल्दी से जल्दी ठीक हो जाए जो हादसा हुआ है वो दुखदाई है और उसमें क्या कारण रहे हैं क्यों है इसके लिए मैंने अधिकारियों को कहा है यहाँ के अधिक्षण अधिक अभियंता को भी निर्देश दिए हैं विभाग के को कि वो जाँच करके जाँच करें और प्रशासन भी अपने स्तर पर जाँच करके और देखेगा कि ये क्यों हुआ है उसके क्या कारण रहे हैं कहाँ किसकी नेग्लिजेंसी रही है अगर कोई इस प्रकार का कोई नेग्लिजेंसी है तो उसको भी हम जांच आने के बाद में देखेंगे कि क्या कार्रवाई हो सकती है The Indian Army is actively involved in various initiatives helping an economic empowerment of women in the region. These initiatives intend to create a more inclusive and gender equal society. Key initiatives undertaken by the Indian Army in Nagaland, Manipur and Upper Assam regions and the activities like to conduct of skill development programs aimed at providing women with opportunities to acquire new skills and enhance their employability training in skills of tailoring handicrafts computer literacy entrepreneurship nursery teachers training enables women to become self reliant and financially independent indian army has empowered women participants to pursue various career paths and generate income for themselves and their families in nagaland A vocational training center with equipment training has been established. Nursery teachers training (NTT) was also conducted for women in Kohima district. In the areas of Upper Assam, three projects aimed at women empowerment have been taken up, which include providing sewing machine and upgrading of the stitching center at Jagun and Bengri, and one multi-utility center at Jugi Pathar in Tinsukia district. In a big announcement on International Women's Day and ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that the LPG cylinder prices will be slashed by rupees 100. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in a statement, emphasized that this reduction aims not only to make cooking gas more affordable, but also to support the overall well-being of families and contribute to the healthier environment. Let's watch some reaction from women. <laughs> हम लोग के आज महिला दिवस है उस पर सौ रुपया कुछ और काम कर देते सर तो हम लोग के कुछ और मदद हो जाता है कुछ और राहत मिलता, राहत मिलता। इसी कहना है क्या नाम है आपका मेरा नाम श्री कुमारी देवी है आ, आज महिला दिवस है तो इसके लिए अगर ये है तो ये अच्छी बात हुई है कि सौ रुपया कम हुआ है लेकिन ये कंटिन्यू भी रहना चाहिए और मोदी जी ऐसे तो सब कुछ जो भी महिला लोग के लिए करते हैं बहुत करते आए हैं और ये बहुत मतलब ये खुशी की बात है कि हंड्रेड रुपीज़ कम हुआ है लेकिन ये आगे अब कंटिन्यू रहेगा तो ये बहुत अच्छी बात है क्या नाम आपका अनुभा Meanwhile the opposition has taken a jibe at the BJP government calling it another jumla by the central government National Congress party Mr Supriya Sule has said decision to cut the LPG cylinder prices by rupees 100 is a political move that has come as a compulsion ahead of the Lok Sabha elections Congress MP Manikam Tagore also took a dig at the government calling the move a jumla I am not surprised at all look at the timing last 4 years they have been they have been in power for the last 9 years why didn't they think of this earlier why just when e election is 10 days i mean it will probably be announced in the next 5 or 6 days is what i hear in the media so ye aur ek jumla hai bhaiya but uh, on women's day i am taking a reference of women's day and talking about nari shakti well i'm not surprised 
it's all political it's not from the heart at all so, uh, he also said that uh, you know it will reduce the financial burden financial burden agar karna if he wanted to reduce it they should have reduced it by half in our government the cylinder was 430 rupees why don't they match it to 400 rupees uh, one more question ma'am uh, nitin gadkari is being offered uh, to you know contest from mahadga sagadi by uttar pradesh how do you react to that? well gadkari sahib is a very tall leader and a pragmatic leader of india we are all very proud of him even if you work in different ideologies he is uh, he believes in a vibrant democracy and i have we have seen him i mean i have seen him since i was a child grow up as a tall leader who's very fair and he's just so i think he is a tall leader we need him in parliament the country needs him we need him whichever side whether we sit in the treasury or opposition parliament deserves good leaders and needs good leaders like gadkari sir so do you back uh, uddhav ji well uh, uddhav ji has Gadkari. spoken on behalf of the india alliance and the mahavikas agadi so clearly we will be welcoming him and more so it's not a political thing it's an emotional thing on merit thank you we'll now take another short break we'll be back with more news बहुत लोग पूछते हैं सिंधु अब क्यों तकते नहीं मेरा सिंपल से जवाब ये है कि पौष्टिक खाना खाने से और न्यूट्रिशियस खाना खाने से आप भी मेरे तरह एनर्जेटिक रहोगे अब तो ये और भी आसान है प्लस एफ के मार्क वाले फोर्टिफाइड राइस सभी रेशन शॉप अंगदवाड़ी केंद्र और स्कूल्स में मिड डे मील्स के साथ भी मिलता है ये बिल्कुल नॉर्मल राइस की तरह ही पकता भी है और टेस्टी भी है इसमें जरूरी तत्व जैसे आयरन विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व और फॉलिक एसिड भी ऐड किया जाते हैं ताकि आप अनेमिया और बाकी पौष्टिक कमियों से बचे रहे और स्वस्थ रहे बेहतर खाएंगे तभी तो अपने सपनों को पूरा करेंगे प्लेसेस चावल अपनाइए जिंदगी स्वस्थ बनाइए डरमत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट गरम ते है पेट और मन के ठंडा रखे तो की मुखे खाली मीठा है लगे इदु हेल्दी है से यूएचटी ट्रीटेड और सफा भी है से थर्ड इदु फ्रेश है से आराम मुज्जा भी वाओ केविटर लस्सी मीठा भी हेल्दी भी केविटर लस्सी मीठा भी TDP is set to return to NDA after six years since breaking its tie with the alliance. On Thursday, Telugu Desam Party President N. Chandra Babu Naidu held talks with Home Minister Amit Shah and BJP President J.P. Nadda, which rekindled speculations about a potential alliance between the two parties for the upcoming Lok Sabha and Assembly elections in Andhra Pradesh. This meeting marks the second such interaction between Naidu and Shah in many months. According to reports, BJP is reportedly keen on contesting 8 to 10 parliamentary constituencies. Andhra Pradesh boasts 25 Lok Sabha and 175 Assembly seats. However, the BJP might settle for 5 to 6 Lok Sabha seats if an alliance materializes with the Pawan Kalyan led Jan Sena party contesting 3 and TDP retaining 2 remainder. The Dibrugarh police have arrested Nipen Das, superintendent of Central Dibrugarh Jail, after objectionable materials, including mobile phones and a spy camera, recovered from the custody of Amrit Pal Singh, the chief of Waris Punjab Day, on February 17th. Amrit Pal Singh is lodged in Dibrugarh Central Jail, SP Dibrugarh. Rakesh Reddy said a few days ago a search was conducted inside the jail before 
where mobile phones, remote with keypad and other devices were also found inside the jail premises. Based on the case, an investigation was initiated and technical data was also collected. It was found that there was a nexus between the jail officials, especially the superintendent and others. That's all for this bulletin. This is your anchor signing off. an important issue that often gets overlooked. It refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of globalization and modernization. Sustainable tourism, alternatively, promises not only to support economic development in destinations, but also to facilitate cultural and environmental conservation in heritage sites around the world. Tourism has not always been the most sustainable endeavor. Some forms of tourism have even led to culturally and environmentally abusive and exploitative practices from polluting to poaching. The World Tourism Organization defines sustainable tourism as tourism that takes full